His Majesty Wakanda is back chat with Bozeman is here with 21 Bridges now play in theaters. <laughs> They told me you were the guy who kills killers. Beautiful. What could go wrong? You got a trigger. You better have perfect diction calling me a trigger. Welcome to Miami. Thank you. Thank you for having me. How important it was this movie for you? It was just fun to make a movie like, uh, like you see some of it just feels like a 70s movie, some of it feels like a 90s movie. Um, and, and be, you know, that actor in, in, in one of those films. It's based in a true story. Do you hear something? No, of who created nah, this story? Nah, it's not, it's, it, this is, you know, it's just the, you know, in how the possibility of it happening, the scenario. Okay. But it's, I, this has never happened as far as I know. Okay. Um, where cops shut down the city like this. Mm -hmm. And now the bad guys are the, the white people for, for saying it like that, right? You, you feel like that kind of thing, times are changed in movies, diversity is there. So before, it's difficult to tell that kind of story. I wouldn't say the bad guys are the white people. <laughs> um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say that's what we were saying in this movie either. Um, because the cops that are, um, you know, that are dirty, literally, is everybody is, is a little bit, you know, complicit. So, mm -hmm. it's. I think we're just trying to show life as it is. You know, if you look across the New York City Police Department, there are people of every race and creed. That, you know, so we're just showing reality. There is no perfect society, right? We live in a world that corruption is there, yeah. and we need to have these kind of heroes or good people, right, right, defending us. Right. Yeah. I mean, this this is definitely a movie that, if you were to like ask what is the premise or what is the debate here, it's it's, it's you know revenge versus revenge versus justice or justice versus revenge, um, and when people have a certain amount of power like cops do you need to to know that they have a, a certain like a moral code that they follow so this is definitely one of those movies where you're looking for the guy when everybody's a little, little dirty who has a code that they follow um that sort of supersedes everything you were an actor and also a producer with the, the russo brothers huh? how was that uh it's great collaborating with them they they know what they want um they know how to cut to the chase and I think find like the meat of the story and the meat of the action. Um, so I, I knew I was in good hands. The action sequence, so it's, sometimes it's difficult, right, to make it. Which one you like for the most? I the action se sequence that I love. I love the action sequence at the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, you know, with with the police and our two you know criminals. Uh, but I also like the meat locking. Um, me like section because it's methodical. It's a methodical, um, you know, sort of action scene, and I think you get to see like real movement that cops have to have to do. Um, so that scene I, I love a lot. Are you being in a police station in New York? Yes. Yes. Yeah, How was the atmosphere over right there? Definitely. Um, they, you know, they. It's it's a it's a locker room. It's it's um it's a home. It's it's um. You know, it's a lot of different things. Um, those guys try to make you feel like you're at home, though. I have to say that uh, it is uncomfortable. It is like it's you know a lot of energy, um, but it's an interesting place to be. Perfect. Last question: Black Panther two. You know my history. You know I don't give anything away. <laughs> come on, come on, man. Perfect. Okay, Wakanda forever. Okay, Wakanda, Wakanda forever. Yeah. This was a setup. Call it what you want. I just did. If you go down this road, you'll be looking over your shoulder the rest of your life. I'd rather look the devil in the eye. Still going bad on